Hello my friends, welcome back to the shop. Today we are doing a uh, slide disassembly on the Smith & Wesson CSX. Uh, the only thing that we are not going to be doing, um, we are going to be t pulling this uh, pulling this extractor out of here. I just don't feel like doing it. Um, there's a pivot here, a spring in the back, and a uh, you'll have to drive this pin out from this direction. Uh, it's flared on this side, so you want to drive it out from this direction. I put it in a padded vise and then drive it out that way. Like I said, not taking that thing off of there. We're going to focus on what's going on in the back because I think this is what everybody's having trouble with. So before uh, we get st too far along, uh, we're just going to use some tools, a couple brass punches here, a, uh, an Allen key to remove the rear sight, and something magnetic. So these are pretty uh, readily available. This is just a rare earth magnet on the back, on the on the end of a pointer. You will need a powerful magnet. Uh, it's the only way that I've found to be able to get this out unless somebody else has a different idea. Let's get down to it. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your gun is empty, free and clear. Don't shoot yourself. Uh, we'll take the barrel recoil spring out and then the very first thing that we're going to have to do to it now. So what you want to do is you want to remove your rear sight. This is going to require one of the brass punches that I just detailed here because I'm not just going to be able to push this thing out. So um, you want to drift this thing uh, from left to right. We're going to go do it. All right, so we just uh, put this in a padded vise and drifted that rear sight out. Not a whole lot of magic there, but that thing is out. And now what we can see, we can see that we've got a backing plate back here. A lot of 1911 guys are going to recognize this. Um, most of the most of the Series 70, Series 80, they just come out through the bottom. So we've got our plunger over here. We've got a, uh, that's our plunger, that's our toggle underneath there is a spring. Um, and then actually what we, what we will find is this uh <clears throat> is the pin that holds this all together so anyway uh push your uh push your toggle in push in on your firing pin and your and then push up on your backing plate backing plate is held captive by the uh safety so you just pull that out right the pin is out and now we're going to push this back down push this back in push in your plunger and your Firing pin falls out, and then down inside of this well is a spring, and we can pull that, pull that out. That's our firing pin spring. So now what we can see, and I sort of scuffed this up so that we could, so that you guys could see it, because I think on a new, I think it is a blue part. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to, is you want to get your finger on this thing, and this is where your magnet comes in. Um, and I'm going to put this magnet down as close as I can to that. And if we listen, we might actually be able to hear it make contact with the magnet. But then I'm just going to rock this toggle. Yep. Just did it. Get it close. Rock that toggle. And then that pin is ostensibly is removed. This is our the back half of our toggle. Here is our plunger. And then here is our toggle spring. And then that little pin is right there. That's the complete. This is a, that's the complete disassembly. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not going to bother taking the um, I'm not going to bother taking this eject, this uh, extractor out. Um, it, it it there's there's three parts there: a spring, a pin, and the extractor. Um, if uh, it, I can only imagine, the only reason why you'd be pulling that pulling that out is because you wanted to do a Cerakote. Um, so in order to do a reassembly, I'm just going to put this, get this pin started. Sorry, I know you guys can't see and I can't see because I got the phone in the way. All right. So, and then what we're going to do is just kind of rock, rock that toggle, bounce that toggle around in that, in the hole um, till we get our, till we get our pin aligned. And then that's just going to fall right in. Once the pin is in, we can put the firing pin in, drop, push our toggle down, drop that down on the inside of there, get our backing plate over the firing pin, and then we'll come in with our thumb, push the plunger down, 
and I'm just having a little trouble here just getting my hands to do what I need them to do and now once that's started we got that in and then we can just finish this out or not okay there we go yep finish that out so now that's it. that's pretty much it now all you want to do is you want to center uh, drift your site back in recenter it and uh, and lock it down uh, and lock it down guys it's been a pleasure if you like the video like the video uh, and, and catch uh, any uh, uh, my other uh, CSX uh, CSX content that's on here um, if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for anything you can email me directly at hangpire tv 2020 at gmail.com take care